All right, guys, this is our kitchen update video that we've been talking about for two weeks. So on May the 4th is when we posted our very first our very first mobile home makeover video and that was our kitchen video and we asked for tips and tricks <laughs> we asked for some of your thoughts on like above the cabinet and the windows etc etc and you guys gave us wonderful feedback and we actually implemented several of those and today's video is about those updates I implemented I did <laughs> I used a big word Wait, did I use it right? What does it mean? Implemented means, I don't know. It just goes in this sentence. It means we did it. I was sounding smart for a second. <laughs> Here is our kitchen update video. Marsha J suggested that we could use wicker baskets, cutting boards, and greenery to decorate the top of the cabinets. And Misty Kasura, I hope I said that right, um, suggested that we put lemons in those baskets, which was brilliant. Like, I didn't even think about that. Baby um, suggested to use felt under the legs of the stools to keep from scratching the floors. That was a great idea, too. Yeah. Especially all that work with it. Right. And uh, the Sentimental Soul suggested that we use lemon fabric and make some balances. And we did. And to put greenery over the windows. And that is... It's in the works. Yeah. We've got the plan. Growing. It's growing. Okay, so I actually got this tablecloth. Um, it's an actual tablecloth uh, from Marshall's. I think it was Marshall's. Yeah, for, I think it was like $12.99, but it's a thick... Fabric. Uh, yeah, fabric. It's not the plastic, it's actual fabric. And I said this would be perfect because Although I've had a sewing machine for almost three years, it's still in the box, and I have not a clue how to use it. So we actually got some uh, fabric tape, some double-sided fabric tape from Amazon. I'll link that below. And we measured this, um, how much? It's 19 inches wide, and I think it was four feet across. Yeah, okay, so 19 inches. Oh, because the average was 17, and we gave ourselves the average that we could find online was 17 inches for balances because we have no clue. Um, so we had to research everything. The average balance is 17 inches, so we, we did 19 inches so we could fold up the ends with that tape. And then we measured the windows and then we gave it a little extra and just made it an even four feet. So it would kind of wrinkle up a little bit and be pretty. Now, mind you, neither one of us are seamstresses. Ever. <laughs> we do not sew at all maybe a button I, I don't even know how to do that <laughs> like, like i could probably i could change out a toilet and do the plumbing <laughs> but I, I do not know how to use the sewing machine so like even though this is sped up we, we worked on this for what four hours it was about four hours but i mean we stopped a lot yeah we take we had to take a lot of breaks because we're old Yep. Falling apart. Yeah. Her knees hurt. Yeah. But the uh, curtain rods I had, I got those. They're just the pressure rods from the dollar store. They're really thin. And because before I bought the blinds, I was going to put curtains in there with the little pressure rods because I love the frames of these windows. They're pretty. They're white. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to cover those up with curtains. I wanted it to be inside of the window. But this is the, the sticky tape. <laughs> you know, it was the devil yeah we're like oh this will be easy we just stick it on there and no because this uh tablecloth had like a scotch guard or something on it so yeah we were having a hard time getting it to stick to the tablecloth and not our fingers that may be why it took us a little bit longer yeah so we had to put it on there and then peel the backing off and then we just folded it up but it, it really like, worked yeah it was it was really simple you know, when we finally got it, yeah. we finally got our groove. We got it down how to get the paper off of the back yeah. of the tape. And luckily we didn't do the top because we used, we went around the edge of the tablecloth. So we only had to 
put the tape on the bottom and then two of them we had to put the tape on the sides but there it is all finished all those little the little uh, oh the, the little clips, clips. The clips. yeah i also got those from amazon they were really cute and they were really easy and and i love it it just gives it like a cafe kind of feel and i got several of these little plants here that i'm going to um I'm gonna put this above the window just to let it kind of frame the window. I uh, got that little butter picture at Goodwill the other day. And these lemons, these two I got from Target for $12 a box. Then I found this bag of 20, which is the same amount on Amazon. And they're literally the same thing. It was way cheaper for the bag from Amazon. Uh, Cause I needed more to fill those up. Uh, this was Goodwill where I got a little basket and cutting board and this sign for my living room above my couch. Oh my gosh, it goes perfectly above my couch. So I'll have to do an update on that too. Um, but it matches my uh, accent wall wallpaper perfectly. This cutting board was in rough shape. So I attempted to sand it with this crazy heavy duty sander. See the marks it left? It made it worse. <laughs> um, I loaned out my little sander so I didn't have it. So I just went ahead and put some antique wax on it and it camouflaged it really well. And it actually, um, it turned out really pretty. And I got that from Goodwill with that little basket tray. And there it is. There's the lemons and the little wire basket, the Goodwill cutting board and the Goodwill basket tray up there. I put a little bit of antique wax on that just to kind of age it a little bit but oh, it turned out perfectly. And um, there's another little vine we got growing out. <laughs> another little vine growing out. Kathy actually gave me that. She is a plant mom. She has lots of plants at her house. So she gave me some pieces um, from her house to start growing vines, real ones, that it will be really hard for me to kill because I'm terrible with plants. But yeah, there's that a better look at that butter sign and those beautiful balances. That turned out really well. And this, <clears throat> I also got from Amazon, the felt tips for the bottoms of my tray. I, like, see, it's the simple things that just make a huge difference. Because I've always been so worried. I don't know why I never thought to get these. This is why I love you guys. Because anytime I ask for any, any advice on anything, you guys are quick to help. Like, it's like we're um, like a YouTube family. I love it. And this is going to save me so much work fixing those floors. Um, this is another thing I got from Goodwill, a little cake cup holder, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And it looks so cute with my coffee de decorations over there. Um, this plant, uh, this is on Amazon. I'll link this below. I'm excited about this. I've been watching these, looking, comparing different ones. And this one, look, I've already got little sprouts. See them sprouting in there? I've got lettuce, um, spinach, and then I got some little tiny baby tomatoes that I'm gonna grow in this thing. So I'll keep you guys updated on that, but I'm super excited. Like it's a really simple process and I'm excited to have my little veggies year round. And one more thing, this plant on the right is what Kathy gave me. The one on the left, I don't know if y'all know Lowe's has clearance plants. I got that, I got a lot of plants for a dollar. So, Definitely, definitely always check the clearance section and the, and the, um, the garden section at Lowe's because they'll have dollar plants out there all the time. And so the reason why it took us so long to upload this video is because of this right here. We were working on our pool, getting it set up, building the deck, building the deck to the pool. Like it's a process. We've got we're building our own gazebo. <laughs> it's Andrea. <laughs> So this massive video is coming very, very soon. Until then, here are some of our other mobile home makeover videos for you guys to watch. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, blessed day.